Hi guys, it's Claire again and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, under 5 minutes, I will walk you through 13 types of built-in e-learning questions with some real examples. These are all popular question types that any e-learning designers need and you know what? All of these question types are included in our powerful e-learning authoring tool, Active Presenter. So first, go to the description box below to download Active Presenter for free for your Windows and Mac OS and then download the projects that I have given away for free as well. Okay, let's get started to our video right away. Directly insert a question slide from the question tab. You now see a question in Active Presenter includes three parts visually Title, Answer Area, and a Submit button Besides these visual components, questions in Active Presenter can be interactable thanks to the score and reporting and events and actions systems in the Properties pane and Feedback Messages in the Feedback Master tab True or False? This e-learning question includes a statement. Learners clarify whether the statement is true or false and have to choose either of the two. Multiple choice. Multiple choice questions consist of a list of possible answers for learners to choose from. There is only one correct answer. Other choices act as distractors to draw learners' attention away from the real answer. Multiple responses. With this type, there is more than one correct answer from the list of answer options. Multiple response questions help reduce the possibility of a correct guess, increasing the difficulty level of questions. Fill-in text entry A fill-in text entry question includes a question or a statement providing missing information that learners need to fill in and a text entry where learners can type their answers. You can use this question to do a recall test in terms, numbers, abbreviations, names, and the like. Fill in text entries. The fill in text entries question type allows you to add many text entries. There is more than one blank in each question, which means learners have to provide more answers. Each answer has a label and a text box. Fill in blanks. Unlike the above two question types, fill in blanks questions allow learners to fill in multiple blanks in a paragraph. This new question type comes in handy when you already have a paragraph and you just want to convert a word or a phrase in that paragraph into a blank. Sequence. A sequence question Ask learners to put the possible answers in order according to some rules. There is a list of items in an incorrect order and learners need to move them to the right positions within the list. The list may be historical events by date, countries by size, rankings of value, or steps of a process. Drag and drop. Drag and drop questions include multiple drop sources and drop targets. They require learners to define which items on one list correspond to items on another. It's a good idea to use this question type to match questions with answers, terms with definitions, pictures with captions, and so on. Hotspot A hotspot question is an image-based question. It instructs students to select one or more specific areas on an image as the right response. Essay An essay question is an open text field that allows learners to type in their answers. There is no limitation on words or characters. Select in dropdown This question solves the cases when the list of possible answers is too lengthy. Once students click the drop-down arrow, the drop-down menu appears. The list is again hidden after they choose an option. Select in drop-downs Select in drop-downs question is the suitable option if you have several lists of choices. It enables you to design questions with many drop-down menus. The right answers must be set separately for each option in this question type 
because there are numerous drop downs. You can thus conserve space on the slide. Rating skills or likers are survey questions. They include a range of answer options at many different levels. And it can range from one extreme attitude or opinion to another, like excellent, very poor, and fair. Above are the most common types of interactive questions when you build e-learning content. What are some real examples created from these e-learning question types? Let me quickly showcase to you some creative projects created by our team using our tool Active Presenter. Academic courses. E-learning games. Tests and quizzes. Access atomysystems.com for more e-learning samples like these. All are free to download. In the meantime, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more helpful e-learning videos from us. Okay, goodbye for now and see you again in the next videos.